Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the Patreon's playthrough. I'm your host, Color Spade. It's episode 7. It's the year 2294. My voice is not in its best shape. I'm on several medications to try and take care of this cough that has been plaguing me for a while now. And here we are getting our butts kicked. Yeah, there's that. So, where's my fleet at? Where's my one and only fleet? And the first fleet got there. Batuski kicked. And so, I'm thinking about how I want to handle this situation here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the time roll so I can see what I'm at here. 100% to 70. Yeah, that, that's the war of ideologies, which I prefer. This is the War of Conquest. He's going to want to claim several of my systems. I don't even have a chance to settle status quo yet. Uh, I'm going to lose some ground here. I'd prefer not to lose these systems over here, but that might be the case. And it makes me consider a couple of things that I should have done differently. Uh, especially right here. Gorum. I have a garrison there. Okay. So they have that. <clears throat> yeah. Well, we're going to roll and see what we did. I may have to take Gomesia here and do the same sort of thing with it. We may want to start recruiting armies right now. Research concluded. And then get them all down on the planet as a garrison. And, and what's, Spaceport's sustaining damage. what's going on with their stability? Because they don't have any amenities. Because they don't have anybody working clerk jobs. Let's fix that. Okay, that helps out a little bit. Research alternatives, ion disruptors, plasma throwers, cold fusion reactors. Let's go with that. All right. We're just going to have to deal with... We're going to have to make a comeback. That's what we're going to have to do. Where's the third fleet? Right there. Okay, we're slowly building ships over here. Which is going to be hard to do. And you need to come down here. We're just gonna have to put together one big old fleet. Hostile IFF yeah. signatures detected. How many? Five hundred twenty-nine. Oh. Five hundred twenty-nine. Um, I don't think you guys can get over there soon enough to take him out, but maybe you can try. I'd prefer not to lose this planet. Hostile IFF signatures detected. System is partially occupied by the Hedron Hive. Because I don't think I have. Do I have a transport fleet? Where is it at? It's right there. Yeah. Hostile Starbase prevents. Mm, darn. Okay. If I can go take that Starbase back, how big is this fleet? Science ship status. Destroyed. Special project concluded. First lead. So that's understandable. First lead home system. Debris and Hedron. Let's see. Probe the dimensional porthole is only six months. It's on Gomesia, too. Sentinels. How much? Three months? Okay. Do these while we're at it. Yep. <clears throat> too big, too powerful for us. I'd really like you to attack them. Hostile IFF oh, signatures detected. Oh. Station sustaining damage. Pointless. Pointless. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Here comes the fleet to back them up, so we're going to lose that. 
Yeah, I was thinking about this the other day. I should have. I should have not played Grand Admiral. I was thinking. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking the Sentinels have awoken. Hear them out. Sentinels with a broken wing turns to one of its peers and speaks. Please, Devana, set them down. I wish to be freed from this prison. I can no longer count the days we have served our masters, toiling on this earth while they enjoy the heavens below. I am alive, but dead. They are dead, but alive. Will you not let me go? Devana looks at her with disgust. Excelsia, by the gods, keep it together. Our loved ones rest below. Have you forgotten our sin? We made a promise to guard their afterlives eternally. That is our only redemption. She sizes us up. You are no threat to us, Panasu. Leave us in peace and we will protect this planet eternally. We will accept your protection as sentinels. End my suffering. You are free to go. Sure, I'll let you go. It doesn't really matter. I was just thinking that I, sh I should have not done Grand Admiral. I should Whenever there's a big change like this, and going from 2.8 to 3.0 is a major revision, so it's a big change. Uh, some t I, this has been my experience with 4X games, is that sometimes they, they can get a little more difficult. Because the developers are always looking for ways to make the game more challenging to players so that they don't have to ramp up the difficulty to the highest level to feel a challenge. So, I probably should have gone for Commodore or something like that. Uh, Spaceport offline. Empire Sprawl is not really going to make a difference here. Beta Calais. Well, you can be bureaucracy. So we may have to do this whole experiment again, which would be great Be great because we could open it up to even more than just the Patreons. It'd be really cool to have all of every faction in here be a channel watcher. I think that would be really cool. Hostiles making planet fall. Yeah, of course they are. We're gonna lose Gorum. Well, yeah, because this is. Nope, that's the Empire Special of Nest. So this is still it. part of just the War of Ideologies. We're not actually gonna lose that planet because they're not. I don't think they claimed that space from us. <clears throat> the Great Pever wishes to give the Hostile Cooperative Tila Association status. Um, okay, sure. I'd really like you guys to 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 handle that beta cal. Planet occupied by hostile ground forces. Yeah, I know. There's not much we can do about that. What are you guys doing? Go over here and land on Astro. This may be the next. Well, on second thought, you know, stay here. Astro. Embark on and take this armies over here. This, these are the conquerors over here. So this is the, this is where we need to choke. Is right there. I mean, I, that's kind of giving up over here. But I think we see what the the writing on the wall there. Wow! Um, all you guys, hold on then. Okay, join forces. How much are we going to have? Not much. Okay. Gomesia. Upgrade that. Research concluded. I do like trying to come back from horrible starts, though. Well, this wasn't a horrible start. This is just a horrible situation. <laughs> this was uh, enemies kicking my butts, but research concluded. Brachium, why is there a ship over there by itself doing what? Entering orbit. Right? Why are you entering orbit, Brachium? Get over there. These guys are gonna come. Hostile yeah, IFF with their big fleets, detected. four thousand. So. I need this fleet here. 
Okay, hold on. Let me take a look at this fleet Corvette. All hit points would be good. Um, let's take a look at what you actually are. You're, you need a bunch of Corvettes, don't you? Okay. These are both the same. Well, let's do that. <laughs> let's make them the same. Uh, yeah. Tw yeah, that, use all of our alloys there. Oh, and there's a big, huge fleet over there. Hedron Hive. Can't really worry about them. It's a war of ideologies, so. Ban the organic slave trade. We're still going to abstain. What else is up here? That's the only one. Oh. Military Readiness Act. Diplomatic weight from fleet power plus 40%. Naval capacity. Okay, well. We'll support it. So, one of the interesting things to do that I've never really done, and I kind of got called out for it on a Facebook post this week, was to go through and look at... I've never looked at a lot of these all the way through to see this like project cornucopia environmental ordinance waivers is an active resolution unlocks a planetary decision that permits strip mining of our worlds to uncover rich mineral deposits so the planetary decision i had never looked to see if there was something worthwhile at the end of these other than greater than ourselves because that was the only one i was ever concerned about because my thought process was, oh, here's the first one, diplomatic weight from economy. So all that does is make you stronger in the Senate. Worker pop output, that's nice. Habitability minus 2%. And then you keep going down this line like this. And I just kept thinking, oh, they're just all small, minor bonuses, you know. And they're unilateral bonuses. This is the thing to understand mathematically is this bonus applies to every empire out there. Now, someone tried to make a, a disingenuous argument that, well, that 10% resource bonus right here on this one, 10% worker pop resource bonus, if you have 100 planets, that affects you a lot more than it does me and my 10 planets. And, and first of all, that's not a very realistic argument. That's extreme numbers, 100 planets compared to 10. If I have 100 planets and you only have 10 planets, you have a bigger problem than the 10% bonus. <laughs> You know, so mathematically, if we go in here and look at where all the planets are, 14, 8, 13, 11, 13, 11, 12. There's a couple of people down here in the three. This is tribal society, so they don't really count. 3, 3, 5, 12 again, 9, 13. So when you're applying a 10% bonus that everybody gets, that to me isn't worth pursuing. All that's doing is elevating the platform for everybody. Okay, but we're still all on the same platform. I was looking for things that were going to help me <laughs> or my federation. That's why I like the federations is because you get really nice bonuses in here that help you and the people in your federation and not everybody else. Well, the point that was made to me was there are things in here like that Project Conocopia that give you a decision. And somebody said there was... Um, there's a decision in here that they, this is their words, that basically uh, ends the game or, you know, makes it unwinnable for all the machine empires. I don't know which one that is, but uh, I'll certainly have to take a, a look at all these. Um, but my, the reason that... <coughs> I'm so sorry if that makes it through the edit process. Um... The reason that I never knew about things like this, like Project, Project Cornucopia, is because this, to me, is I just saw this linear progression. It was like, oh, big deal. I didn't look further. See, that's what happens when you present when you present something in a linear fashion, and a person says, oh, I know what's I I know what that is. Then they deduce what's coming at the end of it, and they're just like, yeah, big deal. This is called discoverability in software design, this ability to use the user interface of whatever program you're using, in this case a game that we're playing, to see what the possibilities are. Discoverability for Stellaris is great. They put all this information on here, it's fantastic. 
the problem I have is with is with this linear progression to the point where there actually is kind of something really cool at the end but you don't know that and you can play hundreds of hours of this game and they can keep passing these little piddling resolutions and never get to these things at the end so I know that the argument is going to be well you should have paid attention to the developer notes and you should be more at proactive in learning what this stuff is and, and okay that's a legit argument but I like it when a game tells me what the possibilities are <laughs> so that I can make the decision of what to focus on <laughs> so I can say oh that's really cool I want to do that because clearly that's the only way to get any of these things at the end these big ones like this and, and greater than ourselves is you have to focus on the Senate you have to focus on your power and getting your your power up excuse me for pressing the wrong button. you have to focus on getting your power up so that you can become part of the galactic council so that you can then whittle the galactic council down to one person so that you can then make and get enough strength so that you can make sure that these things pass so you can finally get to the end of it and say oh yeah i want this really really cool thing at the end a defined purpose what is this synthetic citizen rights artificial intelligence policy the synthetic citizen rights artificial intelligence policy is banned. Machine intelligence empires that are not rogue servitors are in breach of galactic law, but will be given the option to embrace the civic. We are in breach of... Weird. So, yeah. That would certainly hurt everybody that has robots. Extra dimensional experimentation. Unlocks a planetary decision that consumes road to fund extra dimensional research and advanced research complexes. So ignore the diplomatic weight from tech thing. All that does is make you bigger in the Senate. But look at research station output, researcher output, and then whatever this actually does on its decision. The Paradise Initiative. Diplomatic weight. Wow. So it's just, it's a lot of bonuses and a few negatives. Clear blocker time, 200%. Diplomatic weight from economy, minus 100%. You get less alloys, less minerals, Plus habitability, plus food, plus happiness, plus pop growth speed. This has got so many negatives to it that are really bad that I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. Weird. Okay. Anyway, I've kind of gone off on a tangent, but I wanted to talk about that. Um, I wanted to talk about that because I wanted to address that. My reaction to that, that long Facebook thread. And I don't know if anybody watching this channel saw that, but... The, the crux of it was I did not know everything that the Senate did in Federations, which is true. My argument was I still don't think Federations is that great. I still kind of have that opinion. Um, I think I'm going to have to do a lot more research on some of these, I don't know what you call them, end game resolutions maybe, to see if some of them are really as powerful as some people are claiming because to me the the real power is, do you have the fleets? <laughs> do you have the fleets? Founder species on market. I'm not sure I want to spend any money on that. Because what I need to do is is uh, keep making fleets. What are you doing? Are you getting back up here? Okay, let's go see what we can do about the populace on our planets here. This thing's done. All we can do is raise these up. The great Pavo hierarchy. Become more militaristic. Oh. Uh, look at this. We're 45 to 61. Wow, we can settle status quo soon. That would actually be really fabulous. I would like that. Uh, I don't want to lose these planets, but but what did they... I can't see their claims, can I? I really don't want to have to try to beat these guys back because 4,000... We're just not going to be able to do it. We're not going to be able to do it, so as soon as we can make this, yes. I'm going to do that and get these guys off our back and see how much of this we're going to lose. Because that gets us out of that war. Did they just reject it? Thank you. 
you're mostly losing this war. I know. And I'm offering you a status quo. Take it. Yes, sign a peace with the Empire of Nath and put an end to this thing because it's not good. I, Research Brachium concluded. is the place I don't I can't afford to lose. Let's take that right here. We voted to accept, okay, and then what? And then they rejected it. <clears throat> Status quo. Okay, so what okay, good. So they only grabs this much. Oh, sweet. Okay. We have to reinforce everything down here. This has to be the deal. And then this other thing, I just can't care what. It's an ideal ideological war. Here they go. They're going to lay claim to the Matsona system. Where's that one at? I don't see that right away. It's right where? Oh, it's here. They want to grab all that stuff. Well, that's fine. Yeah, we're cut off from there right now. And I'm not... I don't think there's anything I can be overly concerned about with that. I gotta just treat that as expendable right now. There's a planet down there, but big deal. It's all locked up over here. In fact, uh, to give myself... Oh, I don't really want to... It's got full defense Not full, completed. but it's close. I'm going to leave that there for now. And there's an observation post on this one. This thing down here. Okay. You have to upgrade. This has to upgrade. I've got... I hate, Hostile I hate it when people say detect. that, but Research I've got... Concluded. It's I have. I have got. That's like a little redundant. Um, oh, Finn Hemis. Okay. Science ship, what are you doing? Assisting research. Go down here. Survey the system. Research the project. I, I'm researching right now to give myself 10. So we'll be at that capacity, which will be good. Let's see. Code breaking. Bureau of Espionage. I'd rather have that. What's this? Listen, guys, you really need to just capitulate, okay? Capitulate. Lose the ideology. It's fine. You'll live. You will live, and we have more. Okay, I'll give them the association status. I don't... I may end up having to leave this federation anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. What I am concerned about is I need to sell some food. We're buying these, which we need. So that's a good plan. Founder species on the slave market. Well, what I need to do is go through here and do this stuff. Raise these up. What do I have for... I have six gases, so raise these up. Let's, let's get some people some jobs. Hostile IFF signatures detected. Hmm. Let's see. Panasu Prime. What about here? You just... All you can really do is bureaucracy, so your person needs to be moving. I need the research that unlocks more building sites. Yes, detected. I know. They got a bunch of them over there, and there's nothing we can do. And there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so where is this? This is Brachium, which is right there. Brachium is pr is giving us some trade, too, and we, what we need to do is collect it. But that would take even Hostiles more. Hostiles making planet fall. Drag it all the way up over here. Research concluded. To Panasu. Which would be a good thing to do. Starbase capacity. Uplift. Oh, Hostile yes. IFF signatures detected. <laughs> he's, he's really into letting me know about that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. This will provide some jobs. It doesn't provide as many as it used to. Okay. 
Increases the base production of food processing facilities. I would kind of like that. Um, I am going to need some more admin capacity here, though. Dandar. What are we doing on Dandar? Oh, yeah, and everybody needs... Uh, what's the other thing? We know what everybody needs. You're building planetary administration. Everybody needs this. Stronghold. Asterop. You can raise that up. Research this concluded. Crack here. Here, give me this one. Boink. Research concluded. The plasma thrower, plasma accelerator, ion disruptor. Very nice. Let's get yeah some military stuff would be nice, but Beta Kelly, um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna build one like right there. And that's gonna be a trade one. It's gonna collect and then shuffle it off through there. So this thing here is going to handle. I need two. The first two things it needs is hangers, and then it can upgrade. We can use it as it can't really work as a fall fallback choke point. Only this one can. So this thing right here, 35 days away. We'll start changing this over to be a bastion. Hostile IFF signatures detected. Because that's what we have to do. Where are we at now? Right here. Capital buildings provide more housing resources. Well, I'd like to have more resources, so that would be good. How are we looking here? 100 Evading minus hostiles. 12 still. I think they need to be. Construction project okay, complete. Okay, 4.4k fleet. It ain't much. Hostile ground forces repelled. <laughs> oh, where was that at? Down here? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, an Ilex. <laughs> Right there? Oh, Ilix. Okay. Yeah, there. I'm not going to go fight them because what is it? 2,000, 5,000? Yeah, there's no reason to drag my fleet over there. No reason to drag my fleet over there. What are you guys doing? Everybody over here. I mean, it's just, it's a war of ideology. Just get it over with. Just capitulate and convert. <laughs> Dandar. What would we like to do with Dandar? More research? Let's do that. More research. In addition, I'd like to do... Where is Dandar at? It's right. Oh, Dandar can actually do... The other Dandar. This standard. You can do some clerkage for a trade. What do I have up instability on Ilix because they're attacking? Yeah. Deep space constructor sustaining damage. Evading hostiles. I'm sure you are. You're down here. You know, you're just gonna have to deal with it, dude. You're gonna die anyway. That's fine. Let's cancel you guys out of there. Research concluded. Cancel you out of there. It's, it would be really, really neat to make a huge comeback from all of this. It would be very exciting. Okay, the Jehetma Dominion. What are they like? They're friendly. That's good. Oh, and they're at war with the Kelbird Matrix. Okay. Kelbird Matrix will really hate us. I need the Empire of Nath. I need to improve relations. Busy improving relations with the Empire of Nath. Okay, so I got two of them over there. We're gonna, project we're gonna see if we can. That's nice influence gained. First league artifacts, nice. Oh, I'm gonna need a constructor over there, and I don't have one over here, do I? Nope. I moved them both over there, and then they're on the other side. I guess I could have brought him all the way back. Could I? No, he couldn't. He got through there. So. 
Myram. Well, might lose Myram. Capital Buildings. That gave us it. Finding the first league gave us a bunch of stuff there. That's pretty cool. That made the next one really, really quick. Hostile IFF signatures detected. I think I want everybody down here in Beta Cali. I need to find all of my fleets here. I mean, all of my transports. Okay. Embark all. Gorum, embark all. Ilix has some. There's not much I can do about that. Construction project completed. Yep, so as you guys get built, come over here. We're going to we're gonna load this up defensively. If for no other reason than the Empire and Ath is here, but on the other side of them is uh these guys, the Kelbrid Matrix, and that's gonna be a giant problem spot for us for a while. <clears throat> so reverse engineer minor artifacts tile blockers. Let's do that. Tile block and we can keep selling more food, which is nice. Allows to keep buying at least ten of those a month. Okay, science ship. Do we have the constructor? We can get down here. You were assisting with research here. You can go back to doing that. What's this science ship? Where is it at? Right there. Um, Asterope. Is that a research one? No, it's bureaucracy. Gomesia is research and it's got somebody on it brachium oh these are going to be these are bureaucracy and these are conquered okay i see and the dandars there is some research on one of the, on one of the dandars go back yeah so these two so this one stronghold because they're in a they are in their own sector and they have a bureaucratic governor and we're going to try to keep that at all points in time so and then uh what we can do in fact when we get more bureaucracy up here when we need it is we can switch this over from agra to bureaucracy and it gives you a little bump another day another scientific breakthrough <laughs> okay exotic gas refineries and synthetic crystal plants so those all seem very nice we're taking a little a little hit on consumer goods. So, I noticed there was one planet that had a lot of jobs. Like this one still has a few jobs, but there was a, another one, not that. One. This one, this has a lot of jobs. Oh yeah, so Gomesia, Gomesia. Can I put a transit hub here to help? Does that help get people over here? I really wish I understood that mechanic more. Peace officer, offer, peace officer. <laughs> the Jehetma. Making peace. Okay, so go back to here. Oh, yeah, there was Ilix, which is having a wartime. This is it, Dandar. Okay, Dandar. Okay. Hostile IFF signatures detected. The cough is total hell, but thankfully, software, software muting works. Another <laughs> which is, day, another <laughs> which is really nice. Tie blockers, excellent. Leader level cap and leader upkeep. I probably need that right about now. What do my leaders look like? No, two, 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 three, two, three. Actually, I don't need that yet. He's the closest one. He's four or seven, so it's not a big deal. I need more leader experience gain, actually. And if I go to edicts, I can pay for education campaign and recycling campaign, which would help with this right now. Before we start getting some people back. I have enough to do these edicts now. I'd rather not to look at what's over here. That's basically 6,000 is nothing like what our fleet can do here it's not even close it's 5.6 so 
upgrade the fleet you've got no 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 right here stay there you guys should have shipyards Hostiles making planet fall. and right here yeah we traded all oh no you should just go here they're planet upgraded. occupied by hostile ground forces well it's gonna happen until our the other yeah so minus two percent come on make it happen I mean, look at, come on, guys. Aren't you ready? Aren't you ready to capitulate? Because I certainly am. There's a nice planet down here, though. It's a relic. Oh, there's a relic world. That's awesome. So what that means is we will not have to take our college project. Oh, that's so fantastic. Okay. And then down here, I wanted to go to Engineered Evolution. Because I have, I'm sure I have, I have several species in my empire now. Robots can have templates created now. Power drills. I would like those. And then it needs some jobs. Not a big deal. Let's do this. Power drills. Planet occupied by hostile ground forces. Miners. Is that going to be enough to get them to capitulate? <clears throat> what would it take to change you guys over? How, how many months? Well, let's just do it only on... Ah, see? This is... This information over here would be really helpful for me. Okay, before we do that, let's grab the names of a couple planets then that are going to do that. So, Panasu Prime, Dandar. Damn it. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Apply template to Panasu Prime, Dandar, Kavzek, Kavzek 1, Let's start with them. I'd love to be able to know, because it's going to take 20 minutes. I'd love to be able to see this icon on that screen. That's why I've always labeled these things. So that when you go to, to apply a template, I can tell which planets it needs to be applied to. That's the important thing. Okay, it's at zero. Are you guys about ready to, to capitulate? Everybody down here, this is going to be our... If I had a planetary shield generator, I'd put it over there. This is also problematic up here. Dwamax fighting each other. Many dead, but we have solution. We send our crazy swords to fight for Dwamax. That would be fantastic. I could really use you guys. <laughs> but, okay, how expensive is this getting? 11. <laughs> let's cancel that. Uh, and let's not sell as many of these. Sign a peace. Yay. Okay, good. Life is back to normal. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, what's this? Cast the spellies. Target of cast the spell the Hedron Hive. Can I use the claim cast the spell against us? And the Azerian Kingdom. Can you use the claim cast the spell against us? Okay. Leave it. The great Pavo hierarchy has left the Spock's Beard Collective. So we are no longer. Yeah. So the great Pavel hierarchy, because they, yeah, they left our authoritarian militarist and materialist. They left it, and now they don't like us, and now they don't like us. <clears throat> oh my gosh, really? Okay, jeez. Well, in that case, uh, uh. okay. So right here we have a bastion. Hmm. Well, they were our friends for a little while. Hmm. Excuse me, I just burped. It's not. It's not a good thing. Receiving transmission. No aggression pact between the Azerian kingdom. Okay. 
Wow, so the great Pavo Hark, you're like, you sucked as a Federation partner. Another day, another scientific break. Well, we did. Sorry, guys. We really did suck. It was bad. Um, now we're all alone. So, the Jehetma Dominion. Form a federation there at minus 64. They're cordial. It seems like we're on our way up. Offer a trade deal. I'm just going to offer him a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to give him that. I don't know how much you need to give somebody to make them your buddy. But we're going to find out. So this had moat harvesting plants. Anything else special that this planet can have? No. Okay. Well, in that case, for science. <coughs> Research lines. Boy. Folks, it's been an adventure. Okay, what is this? Trade deal offer, yes. Migration treaty broken between the Great Pavel and the Jetma. Jehetma. What is the Jehetma? 201. We gotta keep an eye on that. We want that to keep steadily going up. And same thing with the Empire of Nah. They're at 181, and they were at like minus 400 or something, so. You guys have 20 jobs. <laughs> they lost some people, didn't they? Um, let's build them something to help with those jobs then. Right here. Gene clinics first. Do that. Get some growth over there. Folks. And that was... That was Izik. Ilix. Elix, it's an arid world, so I can only move people from another arid world. You guys need more amenities. And features. Still losing money here. Don't like seeing that. It's I'm losing money because I'm over my starvation capacity, and that research is coming. Five months from me? No. Wait a minute. I thought that's what I was researching. Did we get that? We must have researched. Starbase capacity plus two. We got it. So now we're at... Oops, our starbase capacity is ten. We gotta get out of this mess here. Um, okay. The culprits are down here. We gotta, get, we gotta do this. I hate having to downgrade that and lose it, but... <coughs> That gets us one. That'll be a little less costly. Relic World, please colonize with our people. Only found our species, yes. Actually, I know it's nice to call it Finhebis, but I need to call it Relic. Oh, look at that. Oh, you got a lot of blockers there. This is going to be a joy. Now we're at minus 10. That's helpful. We're going to get 12 energy credits right there as he does that. So This got automated dreadnought. Mm. Okay. All you folks join together. I, j the joining together is probably not as important. I need you on that planet. So that when you land, I want to see what they are when they land. What's our number again? I'm gonna take a few days for them to land. There we go, 1100, that's nice. Okay. That upkeep is, I'm certain. Also hurting us. Research concluded. Naval capacity, terraforming gases, tile blockers. I don't really need terraforming gases yet. We're not making use of our naval capacity, so that's 
That's not that pressing. This is Gorm. Where is Gorm? Up there. Okay. Gorm. Well. Yeah, I need more star bases because I need to choke this off right here. I need a planetary shield generator on Gorum. I need a full choke point over here. I need a planetary shield generator and choke point here. Sleeps. Gone as quick as they appear. Frontier sector is down here. Oh, wait, what? How do we get this? How do we get that? How on earth did we get that? We claimed that a while ago. Oh, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, look at that. LF cluster. Well, guess what you're doing? What's this? Oh. Hedron. Oh no. Somehow we got this from the Hedron Hive? Jeez. Oh, when it's a tomb world. Oh my gosh. Uh, we need robots. Otherwise, we're going to lose the whole planet. I need this to be a generator world. There's no sector there. Yeah. Create a new sector. Anybody who wants to do build cost, build speed. Wow. That's going to be interesting. They've got 25 people. we got to get robots built. I need to move some people there then. LF cluster. Okay. Resettle robots to the LF cluster. You're unemployed. Construction project concluded. Dendar. Unemployed. Unemployed. Look at this. This costs about 100 each time. Research concluded. I'm okay with paying that right now because I want to get... I want to get people over there. So start working those jobs, boys and girls. Black Hole Observatory. Ooh, the Research Institute. Start building those on our research works. Yeah, so what does this have? It's got... It's research basically choke point. Well, let's... Let's upgrade it. Top lockers. That's interesting. So we got that planet. That's funny. And then this one is the one we settled down here. I don't know how long it can manage to stay down there. Uh, let's build a stronghold. Do I want this to be an agro world or a generator world? Well, let's see what we can sign down here. Oh, food from jobs. Okay, that keep that. It's a ten percent bonus, but let's do that. And there's yeah, they're gonna need crime from pops. Okay. Might build a precinct house. Let's build them a whole theater for some amenities. Build them some more jobs. Ethic changes, Matsonia 1. Several of our abducted team stationed on observation post above Matsonia have apparently been using thrusters of the shuttles. Oh, you idiots. So these guys are what? The Ishni. The Ishni, but I don't see them. These guys are the pre-sapient fungoids. Where are they, where are they at? Sapient fungoids on Gorum. So we can uplift them. That'd give us desert preference. And Gorum's a desert planet, then I said? Yeah, okay. Well, what do you think about being uplifted? Situation log updated. Uplift. Crystalline pacification available. Alright. Fidgeting the near sapient natives are causing a ruckus on the outskirts of the colony. Something about galactic panacea assemblies continued presence here visibly agitates them. This packs them scurry to and fro between settlement borders and some unknown point. Drive them off gently if possible or try to figure out where they're going. Okay. I 
a group of xenologists departed the colony together with a contingent of military personnel tracking the movements of the native life forms. What they found were the remains of some ancient seed ship, evidently the nucleus of some small primitive civilization, long since decaying into nothing. The dominant native species of Gorm III seemed to be the product of some age-old seeding or genetic manipulation program. Going by the structure surrounding the seed ship, they were once distinctly tribal, with greater intelligence than even a rudimentary written language. We cannot begin to guess what caused our species-wide de-evolution, but their behavior makes more sense now. On some instinctual level, they recognize us Panesu as similar to their original uplifters from the stars, perhaps our ordered society. coughing. <laughs> Perhaps our ordered society calls out to some instilled impulse to order, drawn out by their baser nature. Maybe we can eventually ease their evolutionary anxiety by uplifting them. Okay. Well. Yeah, so the great Pavo. Construction the project project concluded. The great Pavo. Well, they're 590. They're not happy. <clears throat> Special project concluded. Complete a modification to the minor species. That would be nice. Colony ship going over here. Can we take that out? Alright. Still losing money. Oh, we can start selling some more of this though now. Oh, hold it. They're avian. Oh, we can't really afford them though. Let's sell some more of those. Some more of these. It's a tight, tight rope we're always complete. walking here. But. Excellent. Good job, person. Constructor dude. You, get out of here, Empire of Nath. Be gone, Egon. Alright, what are we doing? They're voting on something on the Senate floor. Supporters for the. Already supporting this resident military readiness act. Galactic members that are not vassals of another empire that are using less than half of their naval capacity are in breach of galactic law. Less than half. Research oh, sorry, concluded. we're going to be opposing that. <laughs> that doesn't look like we're going to... Uh, 1,300 days to get ready. Okay, can we make a bigger fleet then? What's our 200? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, well. Jeez. 200. Uh, yeah, yeah. How many destroyers here? Let's do that. Corvette penetration class. Oh, you got too many. You're way over because of these joined fleets things. Okay. Hold on. Then. Let's do something like this. Corvette penetration class. Let's do that. How many is this going to take? Everything we got. We don't want to be in breach of that galactic law, so we need to start prepping for it now because it looks like it's, looks like it's going to pass. We've uplifted them. Great. Plasma thruster or some civilian fabricators. Gomizia says, I have lots of jobs. Well, you do. And I'd like to hook you out there with gene clinics. Hidden worlds. Ooh. Crew clearing the sinkhole. An Ilix has made a breathtaking discovery. Ooh. Yes. So an Ilix over there. So do I have... I know I have a free scientist doing nothing right here. Oh. It's a free science ship. Do I have anybody who has... This guy over here was pretty nervous. And what's he doing? Assisting research. Okay, do I have anybody available to recruit them? Nope. Nope. You don't. Okay, research speed. Psionics. Doesn't do me a lot of good because I don't have any psionics people. Um, are they all assisting research now? They are. Okay, I'm just going to hire someone then. Let's do this. Go up here. Tell us what cool thing is over there. Panasu. Eh, you can't upgrade now. A rocky start for the integration of their species. 
Given the following effects, summon her some jobs for minus five for ten points. What are you doing? You're over there. Come down here, land. All the armies land. Are we still building armies up here? We shouldn't be. Commercial pack broken. Okay, we're not recruiting anymore. Right? Good. According to the reports, the newly uplifted Capheved citizens grow anxious as the financial teachers bring up the likelihood of contact with as yet unknown entities. I see. They gain Xenophile or they gain Xenophobe. I want them to be Xenophiles. So we'll give them that ethic. Oh, look, there's a planet over here. The Tomb World. Oh. We can colonize this? Oh, jeez. Hold on. That was horrible. <laughs> Economic mandate fulfilled. Colonization by who? Oh, wow. So they... Why? Oh, because they're uplifted and irradiated. They have massive tomb world habitability. Well, thank goodness we uplifted them. Go get that. Will you? That'll be awesome. First fleet. Dude, how can we not docked? Dock. Enter orbit. Initial colonization phase commencing. New ruler. Julian Townsend. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Oh. Right. Looking inwards. Statistically significant group of kept heavy citizens appear unsatisfied with the teachings on the nature of the cosmos. Mm, big surprise. An unknown individual or group among them is circulating some sp Curious codex that attaches undue importance to the Kapheved and their uplifting by the Galactic Pioneers or someone. Spiritualist or materialistic? We want them to be materialistic, so let's let them have that. Okay, uh, you guys go here. Where's this construction I should put? Oh, there, I see. There you go. So this is yeah fully taken over. Research concluded. So I don't care about the fleet academy being there. What I do want is oh let's see shield hit points and then somebody brought up a ship weapon range. The targeting computer is a really good choice. Somebody brought that up and that's a really good uh, the targeting computer. Research concluded. Ship weapon range 50%. It makes sure that your ships engage them a little sooner and keeps them from sneaking by. But they're not going to sneak by anyways because they're faster than light inhibitor. And we got a whole planet occupied there and they can't, they're not going to get past that. So here's this. And we still don't have genetic engineering stuff yet. So. Starbase capacity plus five. Wow. Um, I'm actually tempted to take that. Because what are we going to need? So what we don't need is archaeology because we now have relic, which is great. Code breaking encryption base intel level requires mind over matter ascension perk. Wow. That's fun. So there's Xeno compatibility, which is what I wanted. Plus Master Builder Galactic Wonders. That's five, six, seven. One, it's one, two, three, four, five. Because you got to get the two. The two before you can even take that one. So that's five, six. I leave you room for seven and eight. We jacked up the crisis pretty high, so we're gonna want to deal with that. We're gonna want to have Defender of the Galaxy later on. 
I might need the Colossus. <laughs> yeah, as much as I'd like to take that, we might need the Colossus later. <laughs> Although, eh, let's, let's make that decision right now. We're not going to use the Colossus. So if we don't use the Colossus, for sure, because it's just going to tick everybody off and we're already running into, problem, running into problems with that. Um, so Engineering, Evolution, Evolutionary Mastery. That's, that's three total because we have this first one selected. Three... Uh, four, five, six. That frees us up to take two. We know we want uh, the big one, Defender of the Galaxy. That's your seventh one. So we're sitting here at the eighth one going, what do we take for that? Now, the one I'd like to have is Mastery of Nature. It's really nice. Maximum number of districts planets can support is two. I feel like that's way bigger than the star base thing right now. And probably for the duration of the game. I'm going to grab that because you can start to do that with influence. And we have we banked all our maximum influence, so I'm going to grab that, and we're going to go up here and look at. Oh, and it costs two thousand, as well. Oh, it's expensive. I forgot about that part. Oh well, we'll be using this when we get some jacked up money there. All right, let's see. Terraforming gases, not as big of a deal. Leader, selected lineage. That's nice. I'm going to do that to get it off of there. City districts have minerals, minerals, minerals from John. Yes, please. All right, the end of this episode. It's been a long one, um, folks. Thanks for hanging out with me, navigating me, constantly muting the microphone. Cough. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna forge ahead. This could be a really great comeback. And if it was a great comeback, that would be really, really cool. So, because that was a that was an ugly situation early on there. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, leave a question or comment down below. Help the algorithm out. Help more Stellaris players find my channel. As always, if you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Patreon supporters. The Patreon link is in the description below if you want to be a Patreon supporter. Some of the factions in this playthrough were provided by my Patreons because they're awesome. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.